So now talking about the recently asked question that E is right sort note on topo diagnostic test of facial lump. So it was asked on 2023. It was asked on 2023 about topo diagnostic test of facial lump. So talking about topo diagnostic test of facial lump, right? What are the different tests? I think these are Seymour's test, stepedial reflex test, right? Seymour's test. Okay, Seymour's test, stepedial reflex test, uh, test test and salivatory flow. Uh, rate and pH and talking another two are which is not mentioned right here that is audiometry right what are the other two audiometry and another is our vestibulometry so audiometry vestibulo, uh, audiometry vestibulometry our Seymour's test right stepedial reflex test <coughs> test test and salivary flow uh, rate and pH Right, these are our topo diagnostic test for facial lump. Similarly, there are other tests also that are what are other tests? They are electrophysiologic test. Right, the electrophysiological test are our nerve excitability test, maximum stimulation test, electroneurography, and electromyography. Now here we are going to talk in detail about our this topo diagnostic test. Right, Seymour's test, Seymour's test. Now talking about Seymour's test, right, it is also called tear test or lacrimation test now here uh, here what we do is uh, Seamus uh, strip is there one strip is there we place that strip right <coughs> right we place that strip uh, for uh, 5 to 10 seconds and we see how much tear is formed or how much the paper has how much up to which length that it paper, uh, paper has become wet now now here there is positive, uh, positive right? The Seymour's test is positive, uh, sorry, negative or the positive. And negative Seymour's test means normal, right? There is normal facial nerve till first genome, right? And positive Seymour's test means that there is abnormal facial nerve at first genome or above the first genome in facial nerve course. So this was the Seymour's test. Now talking about stepedial reflex test, right? Or acoustic reflex test. Now here what we do is now here we give a certain uh, uh, sound intensity of sound and we observe either it is uh, stepedial reflex is positive or negative but here the positive means abnormal facial nerve and negative means uh, sorry positive means normal facial nerve and negative means abnormal facial nerve so don't confuse so here these are two seamers in seamers test we are considering positive um, uh, positive test to abnormal facial nerve but here we are considering uh, positive to normal facial nerve so at last i'm going to tell one small trick through which we will not get confused uh, which one uh, the positive means no, uh, normal in which and abnormal in which so so now here in stepedial reflex test the positive means normal facial nerve right uh, that means the, there is protectory reflex of stepes right when large intensity of sound is uh, given at the time what will happen step uh, steps muscle what it will do is it will not allow sound to pass and that is protective reflex now here the uh, facial nerve is normal till second genome the above was Seymour's test we are talking there about up to first genome but here in stepedial test now we are telling till second genome right and negative means abnormal facial nerve it or above second genome that's all now test right or electro gustometry now test sensation now here positive means right normal till stylomastoid foramen why because um uh, coda tendon uh, coda tendon comes from this stylomastoid foramen only so here positive means what it's normal what is normal um, uh, facial nerve is normal till st stylomastoid foramen why because we already said ct coda tendine arise from stylomastoid foramen and abnormal uh, negative means what abnormal that means it stylo um, stylomastoid foramen or above stylomastoid foramen right now here test um, uh, test or electrogostometry uh, here what we are just here also the same thing happened right here the negative means abnormal and uh, here negative means what abnormal so I'm going to tell you just wait a bit now talking about submandibular salivary flow rate right um, here what we do is we put a small cannula on submandibular gland on both the sides we collect saliva for 30 minutes right if both side equal collection right both side equal collection that means it is negative a negative means normal right negative means normal and unequal collection that means it is positive and positive means abnormal so now 
we know uh, i mean there is no confusion that there uh, there is uh, uh, equal collection in both side right equal collection in both side means we know that it is normal right but uh, we are confused either to it is positive test or it is negative test so whenever there will be competition between two i mean uh, two uh, entities i mean here we are comparing what two sides one e is what uh, here we are comparing what um, two sides i mean is there equal collection in both the side or not so if there is comparison between what two i mean two uh, salivary glands so in com when there will be comparison in two salivary gland at that time we will consider negative as normal similarly one this is the condition in which we consider negative as normal right normal another in which we had compared two entities what are the two i's right in simmers test simmers test in simmers test in simmers test also here negative we are considering negative as normal why because there was comparison between two eyes right two eyes the strip of two eyes how much they were weight right so so in simmers test and in submandibular salivary flow rate right in these two tests right there are comparisons so negative means what negative means normal in here so in other test uh, in other case such as in test in test test or electro gustometry there is not comparison between two entity we are just directly what um, we are uh, placing uh, we are testing uh, our tongue right we are um, examining our tongue so here positive means normal right similarly in the case of stapedial reflex where that directly what we are putting in our ear and we are examining whether uh, the stapedial reflex is uh, intact or not we are not comparing uh, two into two um, ears stapedial reflex so here also positive means what normal so that is how what we are going to write in topo diagnostic test of facial knob right and it is important to uh, mention the landmark also the where uh, they are uh, up to where they are normal such as in simmers test it um, the um, normal means what up to uh, till first geno right stapedial it uh, denotes till second geno test uh, it uh, denotes right till stylomastoid foramen right and in some mandibular also what uh, till stylomastoid foramen right because coda tineni is responsible for what our this uh, flu um, salivary uh, flu also so these uh, these are what these are our topodiagnostic test for facial love.